50 V8. What's up, guys? Welcome back to an episode of Tuned Engines. And on this episode, you can see that we have the 62C10 out of uh, the, um, the front. Because we remember from the last video, we want to hit and decorate a truck and put a bunch of Christmas lights on it. But Christmas is over and we got the truck here. But we're not going to be working on the engine specifically. We're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to build one of the coolest things ever created by the tuner community yes the jdm people and it's a screwdriver key it looks like this people call it a jdm key or a screwdriver key but i'm gonna go ahead and show you how you're gonna how you can go ahead and build one yourself so the first thing is guys you're gonna have to go ahead and sacrifice your a screwdriver you're not gonna need and i know like some of y'all might have like a snap on a super expensive screwdriver driver you're like why am i gonna mess up, up like a 50 dollars screwdriver well that's my thinking too so i went ahead and went to walmart and i went ahead and got these uh jeep screwdrivers they're only like four bucks for two and compared to like how much other screwdrivers cost like at freaking ours on the like eight bucks i was like you know i'm gonna go ahead and check my local walmart and sure enough i found some cheap um screwdrivers and uh, i actually went ahead and got the transparent ones you can see like they're like the classic ones like the og ones I really like how they look. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you're gonna make your own screwdriver key. And also, guys, a side note is that um, if you're gonna do this, you should probably like, use like a spare key. You can probably get one done like at your local Home Depot or something. And another thing is that if you have a chip in your key or like a fob or something like that, uh, you won't be able to do this. Your car, well, you'll be able to do it, but your car won't start because it needs that um, signal so you can uh, tell like the car that's not getting stolen or nothing. But you can always make this and have it as a secondary key or on your keychain so it can look super cool and it's super simple to do. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need so you can go ahead and make your own JDM key or screwdriver key. So first off, you're going to need a key for your car. I got a spare at Walmart, so I don't want to mess up the original one, so we're going to go ahead and use this one. I also have the screwdrivers, as you can see. You're going to need a heat gun or some heat source. You can go ahead and melt the little plastic once you put your key inside. You're also going to need a grinder. So you can go ahead and shave down the sides of the key. You might need some um, pliers. You can go ahead and take off the actual handle from like the Phillips head. Okay, right, so you're also going to go ahead and need some JB weld. And something that will help a lot but you really don't need is an anvil. So you can go ahead and put your key in and it will hold it for you. But if you do not have an anvil, you can always use a clamp and clamp it to a table before because we're gonna need it so you can so you can grind down the key a little bit so you can fit inside the the grip of the screwdriver. But yeah, those are all the stuff you're gonna go ahead and need. But guys, let me go ahead and show you can go ahead and do this yourself. The red one night. You go ahead and use this one. Alright guys, so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead and heat this up so we can um basically make the glue inside softer so you can take out the the flathead. So we're gonna go ahead and use our heat gun. Alright guys, now so you don't want to be like super close to because you might burn the outside, the outside right there. And you can see guys, it's starting to come out. Right there. And we have it out. So now we're one step closer to getting this done. Alright guys, so now as you can see, we have the um, grip right here, and this is a flathead right here that we have, the one we took off. We're not going to use this anymore, but just to keep in mind, whenever you're using a heat gun or heat source, make sure you don't put it like, super close, because if you do, like you might burn the outside of the little grip. Be careful with that. So now it leads us to our next step. Alright guys, so now the next step is we're going to go ahead and grind this down a little bit. So I'm actually going to use a marker. You don't have to use this, but I'm just going to show you all. So you just have to make a mark, basically like that you're gonna go ahead and grind this down and this and this up here and that should be it so we're gonna go ahead and grind them down a little bit and the reason we're gonna go ahead and grind them down grind it down is because we want it to go ahead and fit and if we do it like that it's a perfect fit in here honestly we can go a little bit smaller too so we might end up going a little bit smaller but yeah we're gonna go ahead and start reducing the size of this we have the key right here on this vice um, if you don't have one, you can use some clamps and like clamp it to tape or something as long as you're not holding it Because then like uh, if it slips this will cut you or like hurt you So be careful with that and also guys don't forget to be wearing some eye protection so sparks won't fly inside your eyes So let's go ahead and start creating on this key now, now that we're done with that so we can go ahead and flip it but be careful because the side you're going to be grinding doesn't make it super hot so Don't, 
don't be, uh, don't get burned and also wear some gloves, they'll help a lot. Alright guys, so as you can see we have a key shape down all the way, this fits inside the handle now. Just be careful whenever you're um, doing this that you don't mess up the teeth on the key because then your car won't start or the key won't go incorrectly. So now we can go ahead and do a test fit and if we go ahead, we can see that this goes in there. Alright guys, and before we put the key in, we're actually going to use some JB Weld, just a tiny bit. We're going to go ahead and mix them up and then put some inside the cavity in here before we put the key so we can hold this. So we're going to go ahead and mix some JB Weld. Not that much, you don't need that much. You can just get a little bit and put it inside here. Just like that. You can also get your key. Just put I just put some of it so you can hold it in place. Like that. Then now, now guys you can go ahead and push the key in. Like this. And then get your stick and like fix this up a little. And then guys, if you want to, you can go ahead and get a napkin and clean the outside of it a little bit. So it doesn't look super ugly. This is how it's supposed to look like. And you, you should probably let the glue dry for a little bit. Like, uh, I think it says like, wait like four hours before you start using it. But even if you do want to use it, just know that like, you can still turn, you can turn the key. Like if you use it for your curve, you can turn the key right now. But just know that like, if you use it right away, the key might fall out because the glue hasn't dried inside. Alright guys, and this is the final product right here. As you can see, it looks super freaking cool. It looks like a, it, look, it looks pretty funny to be honest, but it looks really cool. If you're a car guy, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like doing this for your car and also like it looks really cool, something unique. And another thing you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and make a little hole back here and put a fish as so you can go ahead and hang it like on your keys or something. It can also just be for like a cosmetic or like decorations, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this is the final product. It came out super sick freaking cool oh look see the glue's already grabbing on let's see test we're gonna do a test right now yeah i guess that's the good holding up good right now but yeah guys so we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see how it works all right guys so now we're gonna go ahead and test out the key for the 62c10 we're gonna go ahead and put it in and then turn it oh! Yeah, boy, it looks super cool. Well, that's it for Tuned Engines. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video for future content. And the next few videos are going to be on the 62C10 truck because we have a stereo for it now. And we also have to fix some, uh, a small engine leak because uh, we did like a little hypothesis. But I'll see you all next time.